These salvages are formed in three very simple steps. We knit the first stitch of every row through the back loop. That means we insert the tip of the right needle into that stitch from right to left, like this. Then we get the yarn, pull it through the stitch, knitting it through the back loop. It doesn't matter whether you hold yarn in your left hand as I do or you hold it in your right hand. This method works great with all classic knitting styles. Then we work in any stitch pattern until we get to the last stitch of the row. I'm working in simple stockinette stitch, but it could be lace, cables, textured stitch patterns, brioche stitch, anything. When you get to the last stitch of the row, bring the yarn to the front of the work and slip the stitch purlwise. That means we go into the stitch again from right to left. In the next row, we'll do exactly the same thing. We knit the first stitch through the back loop and it could feel a bit unusual because the yarn is not attached to this stitch because we slipped it in the previous row, right? But never mind, just grab that yarn and pull it through the stitch, knitting it through the back loop. And then work in the stitch pattern of your choice until you get to the last stitch of the row. And when you get there, bring the yarn to the front of the work or keep it at the front of the work if you've been purling and slip the last stitch purlwise from the left needle to the right needle. And that's how simple it is. Repeat these three steps in every row and you will see that every edge of your project turns into a lovely chain of twisted stitches. And this chain looks exactly the same on both sides of the work. For more details about this technique, go to tendrosday.com slash salesian salvages. Happy knitting, my friend. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.